Morning traders, Paul here with Gamage. Today is Monday, the 8th of May. Let's get started. Pause your players here, read to the very bottom. If you agree, hit that play button. Summary for today, a little bit more green than you're used to seeing. Our short-term market model has flipped again, bullish. Uh, we've had a lot of whipsaws. You'll see that here on the next screen. Uh, our short-term cumulative tick model has closed above the previous day. This is a new trigger day long and what we call the railroad track pattern. You'll see that on the next screen. Also has had a bullish reversal trigger day long. Uh, when we see this, uh, you know, just be aware that uh, we could be starting a bull phase and you need to be aware that uh, uh, things could be changing. That said, watch for reversals or whipsaws, uh, highly likely in this environment. A little bit longer term, the market model, uh, we are mixed. We have a bearish bias, although we have two of the five that are uh, confirming an uptrend. The USC, which we call the kitchen sink tick, uh, is still, uh, I would say, in a downward, bear, more bearish state. Same thing with the NASDAQ and the same thing with the Russell 2000. So just be aware of this, that we're not uh, firing on all cylinders. Market breadth, as viewed by the 52-week new high, new low indicator, had the 52-week new highs actually outpacing the new lows by five, right? 197 down, uh, 202 up on Friday. This is the first time this has occurred in a couple weeks. Uh, it needs to continue for us to have conviction, but nevertheless, uh, it's a positive step. We are at or above transition on multiple time frames. For those of you who know us and are in the Discord, you know that transition area is a big deal. And when we're above it, uh, things change. And we've been monitoring this, and we could see a change in regime uh, where we continue to have decreased volatility and you know, potentially the opportunity to grind higher, especially as we go into the monthly OPEX in two weeks. Be aware of that. Plus GEX, which is the right goalpost in the SPX combo, the combo being comprised of the AM and the PM settled instruments, has returned to 4,200 from 4,300. Uh, we saw this behavior uh, with Thursday's action into Friday. Um, it was in anticipation to move upward, so anybody who was sitting at the 4,300 strike uh, obviously benefited with the movements we got on, on Friday. They closed those out, and the 4,200s have returned to dominance. For the zero DTE folks, we have a lot of them in the Discord. Uh, 4115 and 4130 is P trans. Just be aware of this. Uh, the upper charm dominance is 4150. Uh, if we take that 4150, that'll be constructive to push us higher towards this 4160 to 4165. To the downside, uh, the lower charm dominance is 4100 and 4085, kind of a bimodal uh, grouping there. Loss of 4100, uh, we'll see that 4085 test, and if we lose that 4085, uh, the bulls will be definitely challenged. Uh, watch for parking tonight uh, in the 4145 range. It's bounded by a 1DTE structure that is very unique, very strong. That's coming off tomorrow, and we'll cover that here shortly. Taking a look at the cumulative tick model, there's three time frames imposed here. If you're not familiar with this, come on into the Discord and ask. So first of all, this longer term ribbon you can see is almost horizontal. That means we've been really without trend. And when we're without trend, you're going to get whipsaws. And when you see the whipsaws, that's what this looks like. Up, down, up, down, up, down. We need to get a trend back and we're going to get that trend as long as this bolded white line, which is the cumulative tick on the ARCX, uh, continues above the ribbon. And you can see how it was strong on Friday and we started to turn up here. What we want to see is just this continuation pattern where we're moving upward. Uh, no guarantee that this is going to occur. We're going to uh, basically say this is not predictive, but it does have some momentum. Um, the best way for short-term momentum is what we call the railroad track pattern. You can see it crossed here to the upside. You can see it crossed here again to the upside. It failed as soon as we cross over, but nevertheless, it gives you a good indication when it does work. Uh, it works really, really well and gives you some great opportunities to get into the market and have some, some uh, confirmation that things are going to go your direction if you're on the long side or short side. Taking a look at the E-minis, a um, couple things worth noting here. Uh, plus GEX has moved up from 4350 to 4400. The rationale of how that occurs is right here. 
And we've also had, though, a uh, movement upward uh, to 4380 of entrance. So the zero is very, very tight in here. So the ES is not participating in this positive gamma environment or call dominated environment that uh, we're in. Although it's moving up, uh, we've still got quite a ways for it to go before it, it really gets up into what we would consider a, a full sustained bull. Now remember, uh, the continuous contract, the nearest one that is being considered here is the June contract and beyond. And because of that, uh, there's still a lot of time. So the ES market is not 100% on board, but nevertheless, play what we have in front of us. We do like to watch this just to see how the structure changes as it ebbs and flows. Taking a look at the gamma structure on the PM settled complex, uh, we've got out of the money call dominance above us. This is really good. And we've got in the money call dominance below us, at least down to 4050. So that's a, a fairly strong indication of what's happening here. Um, we, we will find support, we believe, uh, down to this level. You can see transitions at 4115, 4120 in general. Uh, that's more or less uh, true throughout the structure. It does extend upward a little bit, and you'll see that here shortly. Do want to call out a couple of these key levels here. So as we take these levels from below, that'll reverse the charm flows and, and uh, make some things uh, pretty important. So just keep aware of that. But in general, this is a greatly improved structure relative to where we were on Friday. The zero DTE, a uh, lot going on here. Uh, so first of all, just be aware of this 40, 90, 40, 85 zones, most likely the lower range for today. Uh, we don't anticipate going much below 4085. If we uh, if we do, then we're we're definitely going to push down towards this 40, 50, 40, 55 zone, or have a, a strong potential to do so because there's not a lot of support as we move on down there. That being said, we do have supportive in the money calls. Uh, this is a dominant charm flow to the upside, and this will be supportive all the way on down until we start getting into some other areas here. Now, that being said, uh, looking up here to the north, we still have a fairly broken structure overhead. Uh, not a lot of, of uh, push to move us up. If we have any contribution from the zero DTE, it won't extend beyond the 4190 zone. We have almost zero uh, likelihood of getting up into that zone today. We are not anticipating that whatsoever. 4150, uh, if we do take that, we could see this 4160, 4165 double structure come into play. But you can see it's a really mixed delta structure above us. And because of that, that's going to have uh, just continue to put a weight on the market until we get a runway. Now, you'll see here shortly that the SPX combo complex looks uh, a lot better over the longer term. And that could be very, very constructive. Taking a look at the 1DTE, the first thing to note here, really weak. Do not tease or torture the data to tell you the story you want to hear. This is a very low expiry for tomorrow. Tuesday, Thursdays are typically weak. This is no exception. That being said, though, watch this double structure here. We're watching this for an overnight parking zone. So this 4140 to 4150 zone would not at all be surprised if we were to push up there. And you can see here we are at 4136 and we're right below where this structure is. So we would not be surprised of a test and then back up into this area for um, uh, for overnight parking. Crystal ball for the balance of the week. Uh, very, very strong out of the money call dominance above us. In the money call dominance down to this 4050, 4055, 4060 zone. Just be aware of everything that's going on down there. So this is turning on all of the expires for this week. Um, that being said, 4150 is obviously quite dominant. Uh, part of that is coming off tomorrow. Watch for this uh, uh Again, uh, this expiry structure tonight as a parking zone. And if we do take this 4150, you can see there's quite a bit of gamma here that uh, could be beneficial. And as we take each of these uh, um, from below, we're going to basically have supportive charm flows. And that could be uh, supportive to grind higher for the balance of the week. To the downside, 4100. Um, pretty much balanced 4115 all the way on down to 4100 and then with just kind of a nice gradual fall all the way on down here to 4060. Again, don't think we're getting anywhere below 4050 this week. Uh, SPX combo, um, you can see quite a, uh, a sea change from where we were late last week. 4200 is indicated as the upside, but you can see 4300 there, 4250, and even 4150. Major, major levels that as we take these from below, they will have constructive charm flows. 
we're watching here that each of these gamma levels, now gamma is spot price sensitive, of course, so they're going to get smaller as we move up. But just be aware that uh, in, in general, what we're looking at is a very, very good bullish structure when you have out of the money call dominance above us and in the money call dominance below us, this is a bullish structure. Therefore, we have a call uh, dominance overall. Very, very strong, actually. It's, uh, it's a pretty good structure. One thing to highlight here, the combo transition range is a little bit lower than what's in the PM complex. So this, we would not be surprised of a slight pullback and maybe today and tomorrow uh, into this, but 4090, 4095 would be really the, the absolute lower limit that we'd be anticipating across the board and, and uh, not thinking we're gonna go much below that. Uh, taking a look at the combo structure, uh, 4300 was Friday's uh, plus GEX. You can see that's given up a little bit and 4200 has grown. Uh, has, has reasserted itself as the uh, the plus GEX level. 4120 is this post right here, and you can see 4100. So really a sentiment change is anticipated below 4100. This is on the combo structure. Uh, below this, you can see we start taking over uh, from a bullish perspective, or excuse me, bearish perspective. If we can stay above this 4120, we I think we're gonna be in great shape. Um, so expect some noise uh, with a you know, perhaps a test of 4,100, but in the big picture of things, I think we're uh, we're setting up nicely. And you can see we're a little asymmetric to the call side compared to what we are on the put side. Now, again, this is spot price sensitive, but if you recall where we were on Thursday and Friday, we were balanced. And so things are uh, slightly favoring the bulls now. We're seeing a lot more call dominated uh, uh, structure go in. And as a result of that, uh, we do think that, uh, you know, we could make a run to the north. So that's it for today. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, criticisms, we would urge you to come into GammaEdge.us. Uh, click on that web page, uh, go to the upper right-hand tab, uh, pricing, and fill out the blanks. Come on in, 14-day free trial, all the tools turned on. We'd love to have you there. Please follow us on Twitter at Gamma Edges and here on YouTube. Two things. If you like today's commentary, give me a thumbs up. It gives me immediate feedback that I'm providing content that you want to see. And two, subscribe because Taylor and I are posting videos and we want you to see what we're seeing. So with that, I will bid you farewell. Thanks, everyone.